Right, for this set, you are given a screen. This is a A5, A5 size. And this is the card with the whole cards with three shapes. This is a transparency set. Inside have three materials, so, uh, transparent, translucent, and opaque. And then we have uh, four cloak packs. This is a geometry set. Inside got various shapes, uh, three dimensional. And this is the torch light. Now, firstly, we talk about the torch light. When you're using this torch light, do not use with this um, converging lens. So, what you do is you are given a rubber band here. Take out the converging lens. Turn on, and this is the light that we have. Now, you don't find it very bright because there's a a lot of uh, LED on top. So what you do is you actually have to use this rubber band, tie it up just in case it open. Now this torch light is used to also you can open it up and use it for the primary five. Inside we'll talk about the electrical circuit. Okay, so we have this thing tight so that you cannot open up easily. I'll switch off the light on top so that it's easier for us to see the brightness. Okay, then now this one become more bright. So firstly, let's set up the screen. This is the screen. We'll use two coat pad to hold them, to hold it upright, like that. Okay, this is my screen. Then firstly, the most important things for this light experiment is to be able to see the shadow so uh, like for example this cylinder right when we place here we can let the students see that the shadow is rectangle when it's placed this way right, sorry my my this surface is a bit slanted so for this surface we can see that it's circle so then the students can play with the different shape based on this we can adjust the uh, distance between the light source and the uh, object and then we can change the shape the size of the shadow we can adjust the distance between we can adjust the object yeah we can also adjust the screen to vary the size of the shadow so this one will be the main I think this one will be the main thing for primary 4 okay now after this okay let me put this back first so again there are different shapes different color you can play with them to tell them that although there's different color the shadow is always black yeah there's something else that we can talk about Okay, then now we set up, let's say, transparency. This particular pipe inside contain three material. Right, this is transparent, this is opaque, this is translucent. Um, it depends on what you want to do. You can use it with the, the object, but you can also use this to see um, the penetration of the light. Right, we can see that the light cannot pass through. We can see that some light pass through. Right, we can also see that most light pass through. So this is for the transparency set. Let me put it aside. Then now this set. This set is for the. Uh, the patch the color the light patch so again we need to need it to stand we have three sizes uh, three shapes here they are of the same height this height this height and this height is the same so let's maybe based on this uh, triangle right then what we can do is we shine light over it then we can see a patch of a uh, triangular light over there now, uh, if you want it to be more complex, this is more for the primary 6. What you can do is you use more of this. Uh, you can share. 
you can share this so let's say we have two then let the student guess what kind of light patch will be at the screen so you can see that the circular light patch will land here and this is a very big light patch then eventually there will be triangle the light patch will be triangle at the other end oh can you see let me see whether i can shift this a little bit yeah the side is still triangle okay you can put more if you want we can actually arrange for more crude packs so basically this is the light set uh, any question please uh, don't hesitate to call me